Hey folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back with a bit of a product overview for you. Now in this video we're looking at Battle Systems Card Terrain. I've been working on the book and one of the requests was would I cover card terrain in the kit section. And so I picked up one of their sets and I've got to say I'm really impressed with it. So uh, come on down to the bench and let me show you why I really like it so much. Come on. So this is the Battle Systems Shantytown core set. Now this is enough to do quite a dense table up at about three by three. So it's perfect for skirmish games. Now when I opened it up, I got a bit of a surprise because I was expecting to find a card and that sort of stuff in it. And the first thing I actually found was this. Now this is a neoprene battle mat and it's a two by two battle mat. And I quite like that because it means straight out of the box with one box, you've not only got a playing surface, but you've also got you know, all your terrain. So it's a full setup, so it's a win-win. So you've got that. Now I have emptied the box. So we'll put the box to the side and I'll show you the sort of stuff that's in it. But first, let me lay this down. So when it comes to the battle systems terrain, they come on cards. And to give you an idea of how much is in the box, yeah, I have started to pop these out, but those are the cards that come in it. And they're a mixture of accessories and walls and floors. Okay, so this is an example of the wall pieces. And these are, I believe, believe the term's die cut. Yeah, but basically you can just pop them out. Now, as you've just seen, yeah, these do with the windows, the doors, the panels, they do pop out with them. And if you want to pop them back in, you can do so quite easily. There you go. Okay, and all those are removable. You know, you can just pop them out or pop them back in. And once again, these bits here, these are like chevrons that you add to the side to detail in it up. So you've got the, the walls, okay? Next off, let's find you some floors. Shanty walls, shanty walls, shanty walls. There's a lot of walls, floor, floors and roofs. That's the next tile. So next tile off is you've got the, what you call it? floors and roofs. Now they're not just floors and roofs. This is a floor, this is a floor, this is a floor. And much like the walls, you just pop them out. Just like that. Okay. On top of that, you've got these railings here that you can pop out. And very quickly, you can just pop those details out. And I really like that because it starts making the terrain a lot more interested and a lot, a lot more interesting and a lot more broken up. Okay, now you've got stairs on here as well, plus barricade walls. So all these pieces can go together. So they're the, what shall I, they're the walls and the floors. And then on top of that, you've got a whole host of accessories. And I mean, I was quite surprised by exactly how much sort of stuff you get. I mean, there's canopies, uh, fire escapes, stairs, there's stairs going down, chairs, signs uh barricades uh those street signs more barricades uh fridges filing cabinets beds sofas refrigerators more signs air conditioning units yeah this is a special one this is designed so you can do angular pieces okay so that all when you make your buildings they're not completely square which i quite like that okay moving on yeah, more roofs. Right, I know I've got more accessories here somewhere. I've got the tiles over there. Ah, are they here? Yeah, here we go. Crates, bins, containers. This is probably my favourite. They've got a double bed. I've never seen that in terrain before, but they've got a double bed. And by using these pieces here, folded in with this one, yeah, you can put, should we put it together? Come on then, dead quick. I, I haven't followed the instructions for this. Now with battle systems, it does look complicated, but the guys at battle systems have done an absolute blinder because what they've done is they've done video, you, video tutorials on every single piece. Yeah, so if you can find it in the box to make, there will be a video tutorial on how to make it. So if you're struggling on how this goes to part together, and I was, to be perfectly honest, yeah, there's video tutorials for you. Now, uh, that looks right. If I just bend that like that, bend that up. Yeah. And then I'm guessing that's gonna go in there into that little recess there. Go on you. And then these fold up like that. I'm guesstimating here, but I think I'm right. Come on, Bosa, come. 
There we go. And very quickly. There we go. Now, I have a feeling I'm not doing that right. Or perhaps I am. Oh, actually, I am, yeah. There we go. Right, move these. There we go. Right, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've got a double bed. I'm going kip. <laughs> so first off, we've got my building itself. Okay, now these are just the wall components, but if you notice, they've got these plastic clips. And you get bags of these. Yeah, T-junctions, straight angles, and some more unique ones for signs and, and for barricades and stuff like that, and for the angled stuff. Okay, but it is just a matter of, yeah, getting two wall pieces. Yeah, getting a tag, push it in there. Push it in there, and it is done. Yeah, so. Putting this together took no time at all. And I've just dressed it up with a couple of sort of support struts here. Yeah, these were just added in, just to break up the flatness of the building. And then a little sign there, and that was just straight off out of the, out of the watcher, off the cards, and then just simply slotted in. And there's a whole host of different signs, so you can really vary up your buildings. I like that. Now for the roof, the roofs are done separately. Sorry about that, a bit of work outside disturbed the sound. Right, back to the roofs. So we've got these roofs, yeah, they're all clipped into place, okay? And they're dressed with the canopy there. There are some more bits to the canopy that sort of underslung under it, but I only spotted those as I was doing this video. Yeah, and then on top of that, what we've got is we've got the barriers that we, we sort of cut out. Now, the clever thing about this is that these walls have little notches in, yeah? And these are for the clips to sit in. So what happens is they drop down, they drop into those sort of notches and hey presto, it fits perfectly on top. Yeah, it can take models or paint because <laughs> I don't have any models on the desk and it's really sturdy. I mean, it's quite solid for something that's just slid together and not glued. Okay, now on top of that, we've got all the accessories so you can start to dress this. So. If we open it up, what we could say do is, let's go, what bits have I put together? Right, yeah, I put together some quick shelves, so we'll put some shelves in there, and they can go up against there. Yeah, we've got a double bed somewhere. So, we'll have this as the, we can put, throw a double bed in there as the sleeping quarters. Yeah, some guard's gonna get woken up in there and have to rush to his position. Yeah, on top of that, if we drop this down, they do a number of stairs and things like that. Okay, and I very quickly put one of them together. Yeah, and it came out like this. Okay, now when you're putting these things together, some of them do require gluing. Okay, uh, either go for a gel super glue or a thick PVA. But these can just come in here and slide up to there, and they're functional. They will take models on them and they won't fall over and that sort of stuff. Okay, on top of that, air conditioning unit. And what else have we got? Yeah, we could dress the front. We can put a bin there. And we've got a vending machine. Put the vending machine over this side. Yeah, storage container, because all good shanties and urban apocalypses have storage containers. And then even barricade walls, put together using the angled clips. Yeah, you can make all sorts of barricades and it really does go together really quickly. It's quite sturdy. Considering it's just cardboard. OK, and because it's modular, it can be built up into many layers with removable roofs, etc. So you can play all the way through it, which is another thing I like. Looking at the amount I've got, it looks easily, yeah, that you could make quite a dense uh, three by three. So it's perfect for sort of skirmish games and that sort of stuff and well worth checking out. So uh, it, there's a whole host of stuff here for me to play with, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we've got a sofa there. There was a little mention on the cut lines and that sort of stuff showing up on this sort of stuff. Battle Systems have got a vid on dressing this and, and basically using like felt tip markers, colored markers to hide all these lines. So they're not a problem either. 
And overall, I really quite like the terrain. I've only just started to dabble with it and I'm dabbling with it because I was asked for the book if I would cover in the kit section, do a little bit on cardboard and I didn't have any cardboard terrain. So I'm messing around with this stuff. So no doubt you will see more of it in the future. But for now, yeah, I've got to say, I really do like the stuff. Really do like the stuff. Right, let's wrap this up. So guys, that was Battle Systems Shantytown Corset. And I've got to say, I really do like it. Now, uh, they have got a Kickstarter going for a fantasy set right now. And before I go into it with caveats, I am in on this Kickstarter, yeah? So I should declare that. I saw it and I just thought I'm jumping in on this stuff after playing with the Shantytown stuff. So uh, they've got this fantasy Kickstarter going. Uh, it's looking really good. It's already funded. It's just about to start its third and final week. So there is time for you to get on. Uh, it's got it's got like a village set and a battlefield set. But in the village set, you've got tower, uh, you've got taverns, water mills and stuff like that. And then the battlefield set is more ruined with more uh, castle pieces and stuff like that. Uh, tell you what, check these picks out. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, so uh, that's going on right now. It's got a week left to fund. Yeah, it has funded, so it is happening. And Battle Systems have got a good reputation for delivering on time and that sort of stuff. So it's a solid Kickstarter. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. There's a link below in the description, yeah, to the Kickstarter. And I've also included a link to the Battle Systems website so you can go check out their stuff or not their other ranges because they've got a sci-fi range, they've got an urban range and obviously they've got a fantasy range coming soon. And in the meantime, guys, there's links on screen. If you like these videos, you can, you can support the channel via the links on the screen or alternatively, if you're interested in more product views, there's links to videos up there. And in the meantime, I've got to get a book. I've got a book to get stuck into. So I am all over the place right now. So I'm going to love you and leave you. All the best, yeah? Ta-da. <laughs>